Hello and welcome to this next part of Danganronpa Another. Last time we found the corpse of Haruhiko and investigated it. And now we are here. Oh. <laughs> yep. We're about to do a trial, boys and girls and lads. Yep. <laughs> let's let's go. Buzzing. Mood. She's she's not having a good time right now. <laughs> no, not at all. And I still think she is the highest likely suspect. Yeah, she's very very distraught. Hmm. So let's move. Right to the point as always, Kenjo. Hmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> What, what do you want? Don't worry about me! Why are you so... freaking out? I'm not crying! Go girl, give us nothing. Go girl! <laughs> Beat me to it! <laughs> <laughs> this case... No. You don't have to think so complicated. Okay, so apparently it's obvious to everyone else. Mm -hmm. As obvious as it is to us, it seems. Uh, we finally escaped from the ballroom due to the death of Kabashikawa. Uh, we're out. The risk of being hungry and starving to death. I'm not happy at all. We could only survive. By someone else's sacrifice. It's the same for the class trials. At the expense of one criminal, it's a system where everyone lives. I'm so sad that I have to do this again. Hmm. Right, elevator time. <laughs> yeah, that was short. It, well, there's no one here! Hmm. <laughs> we have no one here! Well, at least the queen is still here. Oh yes, the beloved. Yes. Then I shall open the, the door. Let's go. so much space in this elevator and y'all are all packed like sardines. <laughs> Why? Only Terry has got the right idea like, I want some breathing room. Fuck y'all. <laughs> they don't want to be alone. I guess, but even Nekaru being at the back and just crushed near the back though. <laughs> like, she could totally be somewhere else. <laughs> and everyone wants to cuddle with Police Boy, apparently. So disorienting, but yeah. <laughs> At first, I thought that this elevator was so narrow that it felt full, but now it's so wide. I looked at the six others beside me, in heavy silence, one by one. Kinjo is now in complete trial mode. In this state, Kinjo does a 180 degree change. He only uses his head to break through the events before his eyes. But is it because of our mood that it looks like there's an anxious expression some somewhere? Iranami, who has not lost her bright appearance at any time, was still unable to escape from the shock of losing Haru. She wasn't the same. Not the same Satsuki anymore, and her shaggy appearance made every beholder's heart ache. Kurukawa was the same, she just stayed consistent with silence, and I couldn't even tell what she was think thinking. Taira looked very tired. She doesn't want to lose any more friends, and she doesn't want to go through class trials anymore. A kind of heart seemed to linger on her face. Teria was restless. After the incident, I may feel that Teria's behavior is strange, but if you think about it, Teria was like this at every trial, so it's not unusual. Mikaru wasn't saying that she would watch as shovel as usual, but she was thinking of something unfamiliar. Like something unexpected even for her. Is there anything that will get us stuck in this case? Different thoughts and different beliefs across between each other. At the point where there were only seven people left, 
We are thinking differently, but we have to overcome this. A hell-like fourth-class trial. <sighs> the elevator stops. As if we had an appointment, we step at the same time without a special si signal. Towards a very familiar courtroom. Is it gonna be uglier again? Oh my god, it's uh, one color tone! Uh, ah! <laughs> this... You're here! Um, I was waiting! How are you guys? It's been a long time, hasn't it? You met with us right after the murder happened a while ago, though. Nah! I mean meeting me as a judge. Well, it's been more than a week since the last trial. Instead of that, this presiding judge is more stylish than usual. I don't know, this room's a hot mess. <laughs> Did he really have to use that uh, gold tone for the tiles? Ah, I hate it. <laughs> it does not look good. It It's so ugly. Yes. Don't be useless and start the damn, th the damn thing already. Shocked. Well, I'm always neglected, but this time it's getting... It's There's more thorns. Don't you think so, Maida? I don't care. Start as Mikado said already. Even Maida is so rude to me. Hmm, this could be a sign to represent your heartache. <laughs> then I'll start as you want. Oh my god, all the X marks on their portraits. I'm so upset! <laughs> There's more portraits than people! Yes, and like, Uehara's X is like, just a cross. It's a fucking cross! <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. Now, shall we start right away to uncover the truth of the prolonged stay in the ballroom? Incident for more than a week, we have all. We have the all-exciting, heart-pounding class trial! The only thing that's the same as usual is Monokuma. Each one of us were in serious mode, unlike usual. The tension in this trial. The feeling of losing a dear friend to us. The reasons were different, but in the end we came for the same class trial. Now, all that remains is to find the culprit by confronting all the clues, testimonies and test our wits that we have. Haruhiko. Our relationship with him was finally bonding us together in the middle. He was like licorice in a drugstore. Okay. Fucking licorice, oh my god. <laughs> With Satsuki, he always showed his bright side, and at the same time, his love for his friend was twice as deep as anyone else's. As a result, thanks to his death, we were able to eat and survive, but Haruhiko couldn't eat anymore. It was an unavoidable choice to live, but as a result, there's a culprit that killed Haruhiko. If we don't find him, we will all die in the end. The atmosphere of the court is filled with silence. Our trial finally begins. A life-threatening discussion. A life-threatening lie. A life-threatening betrayal. A life-threatening conclusion. A life-threatening defense. A life-threatening trust. A life-threatening class trial. Don't make me rep. God damn it. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, it's trial prep. Do we... I'm so excited for this case. <laughs> right. Let's go through everything quickly. I don't think we have a lot of truth bullets, do we? We actually do not have a lot of clues. Hmm. Da, 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 yep. One shot. Unlike the fights, the first murder has a code with a weapon for murder, called a gun. Furthermore, there are so many weapons in the arsenal, and all of them are scattered, it won't be easy to find which one did it. Raptured right hand. 
Yep. Scattered guns. The guns are on display were randomly scattered, so it was impossible to find out the direct murder weapon that hit Haruhiko. It's possible that the culprit deliberately destroyed the gun. Or it was... Hmm. Or it was destroyed. A misfiring. Unnatural bloodstains. The bloodstain that Haruhiko shared was a little strange. As if he was wandering throughout the arsenal, blood was smeared everywhere like a path. Was the killer dragging his corpse around? Anyway, there must be a reason for the blood to be left in the state. Yep, his severed fingers. Uh, da, da, da. Quite far from his body. I should also consider the possibility that Hariko was moved from his original position when he was killed. The destroyed gun. The gun was also smeared with blood and shattered and fragmented. One interesting thing is that it was a loaded gun. How was it possible to be destroyed like this? I should also consider the possibility that this was the murder weapon that killed Haruhiko. Du Flash and smoke grenades. I recall the fact when we opened the door to the arsenal at first, it seemed that the criminal manipulated two grenades to de detonate when the door was opened. If that's the case, what's the reason? There's a possibility that the culprit in the arsenal escaped as they crossed us through the flashbang and smoke. The wooden plank? The plank is broken and was stuck in the door. No, but uh, when I opened the door with Terry, we heard the sound of something. Cracking from the inside while pushing, which seemed that this was the origin of the sound. The purpose was to make the door hard to open. And at the same time put the flash and smoke grenades on top of it. So when we opened the door, they would fall, right? And the gun in the corner. It's a pistol that doesn't look much different from the pistol that was destroyed. One strange thing is that it was alone in the corner as if someone hid it. Does it mean something or is it just the killer is it just that the killer disposed of it while messing with their gun? Hmm. Teria's behavior. Touching a gun alone in the corner of the arsenal, Teria showed a strange disapproval. He kept telling me to keep my hands off the gun because it could trigger on its own. What on earth was he talking about? And when I questioned him, he panicked and left the arsenal. Does Terrier know something? Uh, the letter to the room. Da, da, da. Yep. Mikako's testimony. The room that Mikako used was the room right next to the arsenal. According to her, she heard a few people entering the arsenal during dawn hours. She didn't say any details, but Mikako might know our alibis during everything. Hmm. Tsurugi's testimony. According to Kinjo, the gunshot that caused Haruhiko's death would not have been an instant one. The bullet didn't get stuck and went through the body, so the impact was small, and they may have been able to move even a little. However, he said he, they, he probably died not long after his chest was blown. Alright, most important, remembering what these two are saying, but because the truth bullet names will not tell us anything. Okay, so Mikako has to do with the fact that like she knows who all went in there and then yep. what was Surugi's? Oh, the, the gunshot wound passing through. Yep. Okay. Passing all through right. and who went inside. Alright. Yeah, okay. That's easy. Then I think we can start. Fucking go! Yes. <laughs> I'm so ready. <laughs> Last trial and session. First, let's start with a brief explanation of the class trial. The outcome of the class trial is decided by your votes. If you point out the blackened, only they will be punished. But, in case you point out the wrong person, they'll be pu then I'll punish everyone else except for the blackened. And the one who decided deceived everyone else can proudly leave this school. Thank you, Zephy. Yes, thank you, Zephy. <laughs> It finally started, the fourth class trial. One of us is the culprit that killed Haruhiko. We must find the culprit at all cost. Now then, please begin your discussion. Um, guys? Ah, right, yeah, should we start discussing? Okay, we have to work hard, so where do we start with? 
What is the stuffy, awkward mood? Well, it's not unreasonable, because our conflict reached its peak. First, I think each of you will have a lot of things to say before the trial, and the feelings that you are feeling will be different. But now let's focus on the trial in front of you. Aside from everyone else. Just like we did so far, haven't we? And Joe. As Kenjo said, now it's the trial. Let's swallow what we want to say to each other for a moment, because survival is our priority now. This is <sighs> called shelving your agenda. Yes. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <sighs> you don't take that for granted, do you? Let's get started already. Then let's begin. Once we get the case sorted out, Let's organize a series of events in chronological order based on what each knows. Uh, hey, wait a minute. Before that, I have something to say. Just for a minute, please. What is it, Iranami? I am the killer. <laughs> <laughs> well. I remember what you said several episodes back about, like, if someone were truly remorseful for their actions, they wouldn't try to defend themselves. They'd actually just come out and admit it. Yes. I'm pointing at her now. Yes. <laughs> there was a reason I laughed so hard when you said that, because I knew this was coming. <laughs> well. Oh, hell. <laughs> so what are we going to do this class trial, then? I had to work out the order of events. Mm. I'm not actually sure how the class trial goes. I just remembered this part and I was like, oh. <laughs> mm. That's the first thing we ever had. Yeah! Until I confess. Just, 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 just full, full confession right at the start. Anyway, let's, let's, let's go. Uh? That's a key? What did you say just now? I said I'm the killer. I'm the culprit who killed Haruhiko Kobashikawa. Don't play around, Iranami. What are you saying all of a sudden? It's not a joke. Oh, I see how this is going to go. None of them are going to take them take her seriously. Uh. And so they end up having the trial anyway, and then eventually working out that it's her. Oh my god. Man. <laughs> Man. Are you serious? Don't make me laugh. Do you think that if you claim to be the criminal without physical evidence or logic, you'll become the culprit? But... I really killed Haruhiko. It can't be! Stop making bad jokes, Satsuki! You should explain one step at a time. If we listen and, you're convinced, and we're convinced, then we can really believe that you are the culprit. Uh, suddenly, what is all this? Just as the trial begins, she said she was the culprit. If it were a normal culprit, they would never confess, but would Satsuki really be the culprit? Before making any judgments, let's first listen to Satsuki's story. Oh, non-stop. Hmm. Right at the start. <laughs> I mean, I think it's rather easy. If you remember it all, then go nuts. I mean, it's just shift and enter, really. Yeah, then go nuts. We can just dive right in, I don't care. It's catchy tunes. Uh, letter in the room, gun uh, gunshot wound, flesh. Hmm. Why are you claiming to be the culprit? Let's hear your reason. Uh, Don Kobazin called me. Hmm? I followed Kobazin. We went to the arsenal. And then, all by myself, he pointed a gun at me. I just shot him in self defense. Can't be! 
She's leaving a lot out. Yes. I don't think it's that simple. If Satsuki really were the culprit, it means that the victim Haruhiko himself called the cul called the culprit. But isn't it a little weird? Haruhiko was actually the one who called that who was called. That one clue proved that Ah yeah. The letter the letter. The letter. Alright, it was pretty early on. Yeah. Yep. God, Yuki, why do you... Uh, no, no, no shade at you, Lanouge, I love you, but... You voice him so twinky. <laughs> <laughs> twinky twink. Literally because um, it's confirmed that uh, Lanouge does the voice mm. for both uh, the main character here and the main character in next game for their introductions. So... That's Lanouge's voice. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, you voice them so, so twinky, what are you... okay. <laughs> Wait, Satsuki, how do he go called you? Isn't that odd? Is it re is it weird? Uh, the victim Haruhiko called you, the culprit. Uh, that can't be it. Rather, the victim Haruhiko was called by the culprit and went to the arsenal. If you were the culprit, you would know. Uh, I'm saying he was called by the killer. That's um I don't know. And that's ridiculous. The letter that was put in Haruhiko's room is what he's talking about. The contents are like this. To Haruhiko, I have something to tell you. If you read this, why don't you come to the arsenal? I'm not trying to kill you, I hope you believe me. I'll wait. So yeah, the letter was most definitely sent by Area. Teria. Mm. But she has no knowledge of it. Which yep. means she probably has no knowledge that Terry is even involved. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa! If the contexts of that letter are true, it makes no sense that Kabashikawa called Satsuki and, so and took her to the arsenal, right? It would be the opposite! That's right, but Satsuki said that she doesn't know much about this letter. The killer doesn't know the letter they sent. Nope. It doesn't make sense. I don't know. What if it was, what if it was manipulation? Yuki and Tsurugi wrote that red wrote that letter that I didn't know, and you're manipulating things now. Satsuki dear, that must, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Don't be a fickhead. Obviously, this evidence came from Haruhiko's room. Oh, Iranami's not the culprit. Wrong! I really mean it! I'm the real culprit! Just looking at the current evidence, to say that Satsuki is the culprit, it's hard to know for sure, but I want to make things a little more clear. So, let's ask about it. How do you cause other wound, whose source is unknown to the evidence that only the culprit must know? Ah. The ratchet right hand. Satsuki, if you're really the culprit, there's one thing I want you to tell me. This isn't like the letter, but a direct clue to Haruhiko's body. So if you are the culprit, it's a clue that you should know about. What's that? Haruhiko's right hand, you recall? His right hand was completely shattered. It's hard to say that this was a gunshot wound. If you're the culprit, can you tell me the true nature of this wound? She has no idea. I, I don't know why sand became that way. You don't have to talk anymore. You're not the culprit. Police boy, you are stupid. He's really dumb! I'm like, y'all are just discrediting her, she doesn't- Okay, what I think happened is that the murder was an accident. Yes. And that she just knows that she killed him and is really distressed over it and doesn't understand everything else that happened. Mm -hmm. That's what I think is going on here. Also... And she's gonna have a hard time arguing her case because people mm. are like, uh, so the evidence of the case looks like this and what you're saying doesn't make sense. 
That's gonna be a mess. <laughs> what I'm more interested in is if at the time she shot Haru, were his fingers already like that or not? Her was holding a gun too. They were both holding guns. So it couldn't have been like that. What I think or happens... Or left-handed. What I think happens is... They're inseparable, okay? Mm -hmm. And Satsuki was already in this super self-sacrificial mode. And Haru was getting to that point too. Hmm. Haru does not want Satsuki to die. Satsuki will not hurt Haru on purpose. What I think happened and why all the other guns were wired to misfire in the room, including the one he was holding, is that I think he gave her the only working gun. They fired at each other. And to make sure that he would not hurt her, he made sure he was holding a gun that would misfire. Ah. Uh. That's what I think happened. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, wait a second. I'm telling the truth. Why are you still claiming to be the killer? If it's real, even if Iranami is the culprit, you'll only get executed. I don't know what you're thinking, but this is not a joke. If Iranami is unnecessary, un if Iranami unnecessarily confuses our reasoning and we choose to go wrong killer, we will all die, and you are all stupid. <laughs> They're really dumb. <laughs> Maybe. That might have been the purpose. Queen, why are you stupid too? For once in your life. The, the issue that I'm noticing here, and the reason why they're not believing her, is because the whole game she has been the jokester. Yes. And so the one time she is being serious, they don't believe her. It's a classic case of Cry Wolf. Yes. Hmm. What? She was close to Haruhiko Kobashikawa, who died this time, right? Apparently it looks like she was in severe shock, unlike the usual one who always talks at random. With that shock in mind, you are trying to make us follow Haruhiko's Kobashikawa's fate. Isn't that right? Queen, no. Th that was it? No, 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 Terry, I know you're the dumbest person left on this cast, but no. <laughs> I love him, but he's stupid. <laughs> yes, he is. Uh, absolutely not. Of course, I'm really sad that Haru died, but I'm very much sane. Go. Mikako. You have the most... You have the evidence, though. So does that mean you didn't see her go in the room with him? Hmm... Oh man, this this is really going to determine this is really going to be determined by the fact of where Satsuki's room is. Yes. Because if Satsuki's room is out of line of sight from from Mikako, then it makes sense why she wouldn't have seen her. Hmm. I think Teria's room is on the side where Mikako is, and Haru's room is on the opposite side, hmm. which is why I'm kind of confused as to how she saw Haru go in. Unless mm -hmm. she was looking from around the night like the night that's by the door. And just I'm... only saw Haru and not Sasuke going in. Interesting. I guess we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Stop it, Iranami. We haven't even started a proper discussion yet. If the discussion goes on, the killer will naturally be revealed. If you are really the killer, you don't have to rush things. It will all turn out okay. Oh. That sounded more like Maybe... better advice. I think Mikako was like... If you want them to figure out that you are the killer, they need to find out all the details and mm. it'll, it'll unravel itself. And you can talk more about it later, I think is what Mikako was trying to tell mm. her. Satsuki! Uh, Alright then, let's discuss it. I think what's going on here is Satsuki's like so remorseful about it that she just wants it done and over with yeah and not to waste everyone's time but the problem is we got a bunch of logic brains here <laughs> they're not just gonna accept the answer they want to work it out <laughs> mm. so is everything organized now you wasted my time on useless things so let's start from the beginning again when the case started to happen 
hold on a minute. Is it okay to wait one minute before that? In this case, can we assume that Iranami isn't completely the culprit? No, not necessarily. If Iranami is really the culprit, there's still... It's still a possibility. That's it? We haven't started any reasoning yet. First, there's a possibility from what a little while ago, but there may be something up. In that way, they were excluding themselves from the suspect line. That had to be calculated. With Iranami's mind, it would be impossible to tell. <laughs> this is another good point. This is another good point. Both both Satsuki and Teria do not have a lot of logic brain matter. Mm. Haru has just a touch more. Not very much, but a little more. <laughs> so I'm just like, they can't do this by themselves. <laughs> I love them to death, but they're... Yes. They're the, they're the three more <laughs> The three oh, musketeers. Their, their combined brain cells can get them somewhere. <laughs> yes. Anyway. <laughs> hey, are you treating me as a fool right now? I don't think it was on purpose. Quiet. First, as Kinjo says, let's summarize the unfolding of this case. Ah, uh, right. Where can we start from the evening before the incident happened? Oh, that was when we... Tied up Kinjo? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Maida, Kabashikawa, Otori, and... Satsuki, Mikako, and me... Six people gathered at the restaurant, might have called us, and... At the time, we were all at the limit of our hunger, and we all thought to come together and meet each other in the thought that we should somehow unfold a hard policy. At that time, Teria suggested... I I'll tell you, I wasn't really myself back then. That's what happened, was my fault for being immature. What's this? I didn't even see your face the day before the murder took place. I don't know this, so explain exactly what was going on. It's like you're not being specific enough. Lay it out. Yeah. <laughs> and Terry was just trying to glaze over it. Like, I understand he's embarrassed, but oh my god. Well, gotta face the embarrassing past now. Yep. And Terry gave us a pen and paper to nominate one victim and one culprit. He asked for one person to vote, since Monokuma banned suicide. It was a plan to set up the case at the expense of two people. That was... really nuts. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I mean, I like that plan more than the police boys. Yeah, I agree. Like, I'm just like, out, out of the lesser of two evils here, at least like... If they came to an agreement of, like, yeah, these two are going to do this, then, like, the trial would be relatively painless. Yes. Like, you, like, you, like you'd know who was who. Hmm. And, like, maybe Monokuma would be like, okay, this is fucking cheating. You're going to have to explain how the fuck it happens. <laughs> hmm. It's all right. It's over now. Um... We almost agreed to the plan, too. It looks like the part I saw from there. I broke into the restaurant because of the absurd plan that was about to be implemented. Yeah, Kinjo <laughs> came in and handed out guns to each of us. Like his plan wasn't any worse than ours. Mm. You know, to encourage us to commit suicide together. <laughs> Not like he hasn't already tried to suicide bait me. Hmm. <laughs> What? Oh, no, no, nothing at all. Keep going. <laughs> She's like internally roasting the hell out of him. Yes. <laughs> She's having the time of her life. She's probably regretting not being there for it. Oh my god. I love her so much. <laughs> Man. 
Well, that's when we started to fight back at Kinjo. And then we were lucky enough to catch him and we judged him to be dangerous, so we tied him up. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. She's she's having a <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. This is deserved. This is deserved. I have waited so long for her to roast him in an even better manner. She doesn't even have to. They're roasting him for her. <laughs> and she's just having a good time with it. And he is so angry, and it's excellent. <laughs> he is so angry. Oh god, we need a shit on Kinjo Squad. Thanks. Mm. Oh my, sorry. I'm so uneducated today. Continue. So? <laughs> She's having a blast. <laughs> yes, absolutely. The problem starts after this. Thanks to Kinjo, the plan was halted, but there was no progress for the day. We locked Kinjo in the room and we went back to each of our rooms. Between this morning, Haruhiko died. I couldn't sleep all night, so I was staying staying up with my eyes open. But I heard something outside in the morning, so I went out and... Mida was asking for help, saying that the door wasn't opening. And when you somehow opened the door, you found a body? Yeah, that's right. In this case, it's missing our eyes between the dawn hours, and there's not much evidence, so we have no choice but to share inf information we know with each other. First, a few alibis can be established just by hearing about this. Yeah, you were tied up, so... <laughs> He's really gonna throw that in there, isn't he? He's so bitter! <laughs> alibis? Yes, yeah, so let's stick into the alibis one by one, alright? Sure, I guess. <laughs> we're really gonna have, like, a non-stop debate about this. About the fact that you were tied up. It's funny. <laughs> Destroyed guns, severed fingers, unnatural... Uh, ah, Kurukawas. Kurukawas. Hmm. Sus, da, da. First off, it won't be a problem if I exclude myself from the suspect list since I was tied up, right? Oh, certainly. An idea where Kinjo commits the crime doesn't seem to be possible. Ha I have an outlaw too. Mida and me. We were together when the body discovery announcement happened. If so, the ones who can be suspected as a criminal are Mikado, Taira, Iranam, Ikurukawa. It's those four people. They really don't have an alibi, but it's not me! Satsuki's the killer! You shut up already! Stop causing trouble! <laughs> if only there was more information. Oh, yeah. Has it done? Have that yeah. consent. Oh god. <laughs> nice. nice. 80 points. Where did you deduct Yay! 20 from? I don't know. <laughs> it's a mystery. Kinjo, wait. Come to think of it, I think there was someone, someone who knows the alibis during dawn in detail. Who is it? During the investigation, Kurukawa, she clearly testified to me that she had seen who went to the arsenal in the morning. Right, Kurukawa? Yes. What? If that's true, the culprit has already been revealed, right? You're noisy. Be quiet. Hey, Dark Circle, so who did you see? Uh, Kurukawa's room was right next to the arsenal, so she heard the arsenal door opening and closing. Of course, the arsenal is soundproofed. So she didn't hear the sounds from inside. I don't think hearing only the sound is enough to be a direct witness testimony. No, I saw people pass passing by in front of my door. What? No way, you've been watching the hallway all morning? Is that what you mean? Mm hmm? But then, still, it would have been difficult to stay sane and hungry, but what? But watching the hallway all night without sleep is... 
However, that worked nicely in reverse. The culprit couldn't have thought that there must have been someone in the midst of watching the corridor. That's a great achievement, Kurokawa. After you shit on her earlier this chapter, now you're suddenly praising her. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's just police boy for you. Ah, uh, he's so weird. <laughs> so then, who passed by? Well, I don't know the time. The exact time is unknown, but... But it was in this order. First was Haruhiko and Satsuki. From left to right. The arsenal didn't open at this time. A little later, Satsuki went from right to left. She was alone at this time. A little later, after Iranami passed, Teoria went from left to right. A little later again, I heard the sound of the arsenal door. Then, Teoria went from right to left. And after a while, Haruhiko goes from right to left. Soon after, Haruhiko and Satsuki are together again. Jesus! Well, wait a minute! I'm sorry, but wait a minute! That... I don't know what you're saying! I don't know what's left to right and right to left! C can you tell us a little more clearly? You're the only one who doesn't understand something as simple, aren't you? Don't cut the flow for no reason. Focus and listen. Dude, I also don't understand it. It's, it's I understand hard. what she's talking about. I, I understand what she's talking about. I know what she's talking about, but I cannot for the life of me remember all that. Yeah, it's kind of difficult. Basically, what she's saying is like they, they went like passing in front of her door left to right mm. is what these, they're talking about. So she's talking about how many times they passed her door to go to the arsenal or to go in the direction either of the arsenal or away from it. That's what she's talking about. And I'm having a hard time keeping up with it too, but the basically you need to you, the only thing you really need to focus on here is um the times when they were together and the times when they weren't. Hmm. <laughs> Don't be like that. I'm a little confused too. But let's listen to Kurokawa's story until the end and reorganize it. It's in an easy-to-understand manner. Kurokawa, is that everything? Hmm? Indeed. As you said, you can assume that the killer has already revealed themselves. At the time of the investigation, I didn't know this because Kurokawa didn't tell me properly but this is definitely a tremendous amount of information. He's like, so mm. can we just agree that I'm the killer now? <laughs> hey, I want to join the discussion too, but can't you tell us a little bit more easily? Uh, sorry, Tyra. I'll organize it so it's easier to understand. But before that, there's something I want to check again. The location of the room each of us was using. If we know this, I think we can properly organize Kurokawa's information. Oh, thank fucking god. Yes. I was like, please, god, give us the room layout. I'm going insane. <laughs> well, that's certainly something I want to do and that we need to do to move on. From what I roughly checked with each other during the investigation... Everyone remembers the structure of the corridor behind the ballroom where the rooms are listed, right? As you would know if you did a little closer examination, there was a small tag on the door of each room. Okay, hmm. so, alright, it's evens on one side and odds on the other, and the odds is the shorter side, okay. And according to the tag, the rooms were dis distributed in this matter, in this manner. Monokuma randomly gave us a key for each room, and from what I've investigated... Okay. Alright. So the two people that Kodokawa would have the easiest time seeing pass by the door- by her door are Teria and Satsuki. Hmm. And the reason why she saw Haruhiko is because Haruhiko was passing in front of her door to go get those two. Yep. 
That's why. Okay, I see. This is probably how each of us were located in each room. I also think I understand her story now. What she was saying was Haru and Satsuki met up first. Mm. Then later, when Satsuki went back, Teria dropped the note under Haru's door. And then Teria went back. Then Satsuki rejoined him in the arsenal. And then whatever the fuck happened, happened. Mm. I think that's how this is the layout. Then if we reconsider Kurokawa's testimony after arranging the distribution of each room used by each person in this way, we can see that a few suspects are eliminated. Well, I mean, I didn't understand Mikako's words at all. That's your own fault. Are you going to blow up a valuable discussion time for someone like you? Oh my god, I'm Jesus. gonna throttle you. Leave her alone. <laughs> Kinjo, that's too far. That's important for every one of us to know about the case, right? I'll rearrange it and explain it to Tyra. Do we what you like, preferably as quickly as possible. I'm so tired of him. <laughs> yeah. Kinjo, you still don't seem to forgive me. Honey, he won't. Give up. Give up on it. Let it go. <laughs> it's not important. It's really not. <laughs> uh, Tyra, so to summarize Kurokawa's words simply. First, the fact that Kurokawa watched the hallway all morning. Tyra, you heard it earlier, right? Based on what Kinjo summarized, Kurokawa's room is room 8. It's the room on the right side of the arsenal. When you go straight from the entrance to the arsenal to the corridor, As Kurokawa explained a little while ago, what she said was from left to right and from right to left was based on the direction facing the corridor in Kurokawa's room. Here, I'll make it more easy to understand with pictures. In the order that Kurokawa saw it, Haruhiko and Satsuki were the first people that passed by in front of the door at this time. She said there was no sound of the arsenal door opening at this time, so I think it's just the two of them passing by. And a little later, she said that Satsuki passed by alone again in the opposite direction. Probably back to her room. Hmm. Shortly after this, she said that Teria passed by. Teria going to deliver the note. And at this time, she could hear the sound of the arsenal door opening. This probably means that Teria went into the arsenal. After a while, the sound of the arsenal door opening was heard again, and then Teria passed to the opposite direction. Soon after, Haruhiko passed by the same direction again. After this, Haruhiko and Satsuki went from left to right again. And at this time, the door to the arsenal was opened. Someone went into the arsenal. After that, there was no movement for a while. And after a little time passed, Satsuki passed by with the sound of the arsenal door opening. Okay, I think I know what happened. Hmm. These are all the movements Kurokawa saw and heard during the morning. After this, well, she heard the ruckus of the arsenal door next, but... That was probably the sounds of me trying to open the door. Teria, who passed by, heard the sound I made. Then I opened the door with Teria's help during this time. That's the summary of what Kurokawa heard and saw, roughly like this, do you understand? When Maida explained it to me, I understood it all at once. Thanks. Really, but wait. If we look from the current events on each step... Yeah, there's one suspicious person. Do you see it clearly? I can 
guarantee 100% that what Kurukawa heard and saw was everything that happened at dawn, but with the information obtained to now has resulted in one influential suspect of this case. Well, I... Yeah. Well, okay. Wait. I don't think they're going to give us Satsuki this early. I think they're going to try and pin it on Teria first because he was the first person to open the arsenal door. But he went away again, and Haruhiko was seen alive again after that. Yes. I have a reason for telling you that, though. <laughs> Did you look at the guide? Yes. <laughs> What? Yeah, I did. This doesn't make sense to choose Terry. I know it yeah, doesn't. Yeah. That's why I, that, I, I know it doesn't. That's why I looked because I was like, wait a minute. Satsuki seems the most suspicious here, but the game is saying that Terry is, and I want to understand why because I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> I hate that. That's the right answer. That's so obnoxious. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I know. That's why I want them to explain it. Teria, he's the only one who fits to be the main suspect of this case. Huh? M me Haruhiko was the victim, so he couldn't help it. The fact that Satsuki was close to Haruhiko makes me understand why she was there. But why did Oh, Ta I see now. I see why. I see why. They're they're factoring in the fact that they fought a lot and that they weren't really talking much at this point. And so seeing Terry involved is already kind of suspicious. That's so... that's such a reach. It is a reach. Ugh. Ugh, okay, fine. Explain what the fuck you mean, Yuki. I want to know what the hell... God. <laughs> but why did Terry move around like that so early in the morning? Oh, th that was... Uh, what was it again? Right, I was investigating, yeah, everyone was in a panic, so I wanted to find clues to get out, even for a little bit. Okay, but why were you in the arsenal? Hmm. Just a few hours ago, you were trying to pick two victims. The guy who was despairing and doing investigation was thinking of all these things. Doesn't it sound a little weird? Okay, yeah. So they're factoring that in, too. Hmm. And now I see it, I guess. He is suspicious, but not the most suspicious still. Not the most suspicious of them, no. So, I this is one of those cases where, like, you know in some of the canon DR cases, they're like, you have, uh, like, you already have the answer, but you need to go in a different order yeah. to get that answer. I hate when games do that. Mm. Bothers me. Anyway, that's the one gripe I have with this case so far. Th that's all there is to it. The weight fixed my mind. People can change their mind easily, you know? Even if it's true that you did an investigation, if you think about it based on Kurukawa's testimony, you were only in the arsenal. What kind of investigation did you do in the arsenal? No, I never went into the arsenal. Then who did? You must know, right? Her camp Haru can't pass in front of Kurukawa's door to go into the arsenal. He can go in by himself. Yeah, but then Teria should just say so. Because it was shortly after you went past, so you should have seen him. It was. It was. Oh, Tori! Please stop the pretense and explain properly! What the hell did you do in the arsenal? to the arsenal Teria Why does it have to only be me? I did nothing wrong. If you look at it, Satsuki also went around Dawn. Why am I the only suspicious one? Yeah, I'm the culprit. Are you still saying that? I told you to be quiet. Uh, certainly, Uranami is well under well enough suspicion. However, she said she blah. However, she said that she didn't know the identity of the letter, nor did she know about Haru's hand. So that's it, then. You're just gonna take her off the list just because she doesn't know. That's a long shot. I didn't know about anything. I didn't know anything about that letter or the right hand either. I don't. I I don't believe you about the letter. I think you put the letter there. Hmm. 
And the right hand. He should probably at least have an idea what happened. He he definitely does, especially with how he reacted to Maida handling the mm. gun. Don't be mistaken, Terrio. You know said that Iranami is the culprit and you don't know about these clues. Well, Iranami claims to be the culprit, but she doesn't recognize these clues are entirely different matters. Because he knows she's the culprit. Hmm. Then what about Maida? When I saw him this morning, he was trying to get into the arsenal. So Maida's also suspicious. That just happened. Yes, I won't deny that Maida is also a suspect, as you claim. He has been in and out of the arsenal the previous day and even this morning. He had the strange idea of going to the arsenal again. He looks... Okay, to be honest, I understand why Kinjo's saying that. Yes. But also... He's our pro tag. <laughs> Man, this is trouble in paradise. Good god, the tension here. Maida looks like he was like like a kitten that was that is in a kicked. Yeah. Like a kitten in the way in the rain in a box. <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh no. Oh my god, these two. Holy shit. <laughs> but this and that are separate matters. As a result, Maida failed to enter the arsenal this morning. There was no testimony of Kurukawa witnessing in the morning, so this is not suitable for committing the crime. Oh, well. Anyways, me, I don't know anything about that. I'm already trying to I'm already trying to protect him, but relying only on Dark Circle's testimony has a slight loose time frame. I'm going to ignore it. Do not make me go nuts and move on already. I know that. It's about the structure of the ballroom, right? Come on, Yuki. The structure? Think about it. Even if Kurokawa watched the hallway all night, it's all about looking outside of the room and hearing the arsenal door. But if you look at the structure of the ballroom, you can easily enter the arsenal without passing by Kurokawa's door. Long hallway. Yep. Yeah. Because we were all at the ballroom for a week, I think everyone should know, but... The arsenal is structured around the dance hall at a 360 degree degrees. In other words, if you go back to the other side, you can enter the arsenal without being noticed by Kurukawa. Moreover, in the case of Maira, Kurukawa does not stand out, even if he does not use this method, and goes straight into the arsenal from his own room, since it was on the opposite side of Kurukawa's room in the first place. Meaning that Haru can go in whenever he wants to, because hmm. he's also on that side. So I understand why Terry is saying he didn't go in the arsenal, because yep, he, he yep. probably... Haru probably went in. Terry might have met him outside. Hmm. And didn't go in. Which is already weird, but sure. Hmm. So you knew that too. See? Mine is the culprit after all, buddy. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> but there's something you shouldn't overlook. Even if you use the method to enter the arsenal without showing your appearance to Kurokawa, there's still the sound of the door opening and closing that can only be heard by Kurokawa. Huh? But in Mikako's testimony, the sound of the arsenal opening and closing was always heard before and after someone passed. Her door. Yep. That's right. After all, the person who walked in and out of the pre pre uh, arsenal at the time, I can't think of anything other than these three people who showed up in the testimony. Haruhiko, Satsuki and Teruya. That's all lies! So, Teruya, you went into the arsenal and I want to hear your reason to make sure. If you're really innocent, there's no reason to be in panic, right? Then... I'm really innocent. R really. I just went into the arsenal to... I went in for a minute. Just 
just fess up. It's not gonna be you who's gonna be executed Plain. anyway. Just explain that you helped Haru make all the guns misfire, except for one. Just explain that you were helping Haru. It's not mm -hmm. hard. <laughs> I don't think there will be an end to this if it goes on like this. What is Teria so afraid of? I'm not sure. He doesn't want to say anything because, well, I'm not certain, but I'll have to show more convincing evidence that he has no choice but to speak. Come to think of it. There seems to be one suspicious thing about Teria du during the investigation. What was it? It was when I was investigating something in the arsenal. Let's recall that moment. Easy. Yeah. I mean, I... Du, 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 du. Places that contain the answer to the current topic. The method is simple. A photo, a picture that... But the current topic will appear, the minigame is pointing at a place where you can find the answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. However, if you have chosen a place other than the one that gives you the current answer, you will just... Okay. So it has to be the gun he reacted yeah. to, then. Of course. Hello. Come to think of it, Teria, didn't you say something strange to me when I was investigating? What? Something strange? I, I don't know. I found a gun that was dropped in a corner and when I checked it to investigate, suddenly you came and told me not to touch it because it will blow up. What do you mean, Maida? Tell us more in detail. Uh, there was a gun in the corner of the arsenal that was hard to see. I tried to investigate why it was in a corner like that. Suddenly, Teria, who was nearby, ran up and told me not to touch it because it would blow up if I shot. Maybe I, he thought that I was going to use the gun. If you shoot, it will blow up? What are you talking about? No, before answering the question... How did he know about that? Very important. Hmm. They, they, that's... They, that's... They, they, that's... Um... My own gun, did you properly investigate it? Uh -huh. I did examine it roughly, but it was a normal gun without anything special to it. I thought it was equipped with a gun with a bump or something, because I thought it was going to explode. Probably it's nothing like that. Hey, Manukuma. Eh, yeah, did you call me? I was enjoying this. What's up? I require you to submit evidence. Bring the gun Maida mentioned. What? What are you- Why am I being ordered? Come on. Submit evidence? Is that possible? He is the judge, so technically, hmm. yes. It is part of the debate of the class trial. There's no problem with the rules. You, the judge, have no right to deny it. That's correct. There's no profit to reject it. Besides, if it's part of the discussion, what's the point? Gee, I really don't like that attitude. How can you be so cheeky? Shut up and get it already. <laughs> Actually, I thought this was going to happen, and I brought it in from the beginning. Now, here you go. How is it? This is it. Oh, the bullet. Hmm. It's a bullet. A bullet? It was loaded? It's not a simple bullet. It's a bullet for shotguns and medium-sized rifles. Bullets that do oh, not- Oh, it's loaded with the uh, wrong ammunition, uh, so that it would- it would explode. I see. Bullets that do not meet the standard were forcibly loaded into this gun. If you pull the trigger with one of these, a bullet that doesn't fit into the magazine, it enters the chamber and blocks the muzzle. And of course, 
No bullet shell comes out. The pressure from the gunpowder has disappeared from where it's supposed to go. Instead, it, it spreads all over the gun itself. It will end up being shattered. Well, wait a minute! But then, why did Terrier know about this? Why? I see now what you did in the arsenal. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Tori, did you change the bullets on purpose? For what reason? The gun in that state, if you hold it with a human hand and fire it, your hand will not be safe. When I listen to these words just now, I see a very similar wound I remember in my mind. Yes, the source is, is, is clear. Haruhiko's right hand. I understand now. Haruhiko was hit by the explosion of the pistol that Kinjo was holding right now. That evidence was also in the arsenal. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Almost. But was it meant to say talking. like it? I think he's talking about the, the broken gun. Yeah, so it was supposed to mean a gun like this one, not the gun he was holding right now. Yeah, I, it's just a mistranslation. Yeah, that's alright. It was in the arsenal. The fragments of a gun filled with blood, which appeared to have been burst from the inside. Yeah, I saw that too. Haruhiko fired the gun wrongly noted, just like this gun. And the gun he was holding exploded, and his hand ended up being raptured. And Otori did this to Kabashikawa? Mm. Well, wait a minute! I'm sure this gun is is the one I touch, but I don't know about the other destro destroyed gun. Hmm, huh, you admitted it. The fact that you touched this gun. Uh, uh, n no, 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 no. Of course, there are two guns with misloaded bullets. That's a little weird, but I'm certain, Terrier, you definitely did something. Is that really it? I think if we pry a little more, you'll end up confessing everything. Uh, uh... Don't treat people as criminal without solid evidence. Even if I put my hands on the gun, it can't, it can't be proof that I'm the killer. So I don't know anything. Give me the proof. Evidence! It can be the night that Terrier is the most powerful suspect right now, but is there any more solid evidence? If we keep discussing, we might be able to see something we haven't considered before. Ah. Bullet scan again, I see. Yeah. X to scan. X. Ugh. Maintain press while scanning your know, words. Record the bullet. Remember that there's only one true scan bullet. If you scan the wrong one, you won't be able re to record it. Alright, let's check for... What to scan. Yeah. I don't know anything! It's already been revealed. Stop lying and tell the truth. You went to the arsenal. You deliberately loaded the gun wrongly so that the bullets would explode. But only doing that doesn't mean I'm the culprit, does it? Of course you loaded the gun. You can say it doesn't make you the culprit, but... The killer loaded the bullets on purpose. I'm certain of this. That's far-fetched! I'm not a killer because I did that one thing. You're treating me as a culprit. I think that's the pen and mm. paper. You knew the gun was going to explode. What more evidence do you need to see? Oh, oh Tori, how could you? I should have noticed the moment you asked us to pick a victim pen and paper uh. was given by you. Ah, the you one murder! thing. Ah, ah, the one thing in the pen and paper. Yeah, ah. I think that's the solution. It's certain that Terrier went into the arsenal at dawn and secretly manipulated a gun. 
But is that really all there is? Did they sneak at dawn just to do that one action? Let's think about it. If we listen to everyone's statements, we will be able to uncover another track of Terrier's deeds. Yeah, yeah. Right. So we just gotta wait till like uh... a few, a few, a few, a few ticks in. So it's one of Terrier's statements that you yep. absorb, and then you hit Akane's. Okay, I see. So I should be able to do it in one go. Yeah. Hopefully. Unlike last time. Yeah. Hey, that one. Nah. Is it not letting you absorb it, or did you forget the controls? I pressed X. Weird. All right. But it's not X. That didn't do nothing. This Why time, is it not I letting you take it. I hit it right then, and then I hold it. Huh? I don't understand. We fucked up. Okay. <laughs> and I started recording again. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm exasperated after that. <laughs> okay, alright, whatever. We just have to hit Terry's fucking part now. <laughs> but really, it could have been in any... Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess it makes more sense to scan pen and paper. It does, technically. Since... Akane isn't saying anything wrong, really. No, she's not. I'm just annoyed that I misread the guide. <laughs> so yeah, uh... Jesus Christ, get me out of here! <laughs> so yeah, uh, you did write something in Sefi's bug report, right? I think you can delete that. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Man, this was, go this, this was a that. major <laughs> fail. Ah... <sighs> That's it. The pen, the paper, and pen. What? After listening to Tyra's words, I thought about it. At the beginning of the trial, you guys remember the letter that you said you were blaming Satsuki. I've been thinking it's been weird all this time. How did the culprit write this letter? We should have lost all of our belongings at the same time we were at the ballroom. Hearing that, yeah, how did... Oh. Yes, exactly as Maida says. Perhaps the night before the murder there was someone who secretly handed out a piece of paper and... that had been secretly showing a paper to ask someone to choose two victims. Yeah. It's obvious at this point that Terrier clearly said that at the time, the extra paper and pen were not removed from his clothes. That means Terrier is the only one of us who has paper and pen in their belongings. D don't joke around! You could have accidentally found another piece of paper and wrote in it! Oh, is that so? Should we check it then? Monokuma, bring that letter. I knew this would happen, so I brought it in advance. Here. Now, without that guy making a commotion, let's read it. This must be it. It's the same paper Terrier had. And Otori was the one who sent that letter to Kobashikawa's room? Wait a minute! You're forcing me! I handed out a bunch of papers to you guys! Soon after that, when Kinjo made a fuss, he might have gotten one in the mass confusion! If it's only paper, it might be possible. But what about your side? Terrier said it with his own words, there's only one pen. No yep. matter how much paper you had, you cannot write a letter without a pen. Hmm... The pen was also in the confusion. 
Then why didn't you say anything about that earlier? Why, why didn't you, bud? Huh. Then that means you don't have the pen right now, because you said you only have one. If we look into your belongings and the party clothes you wore, you won't have any complaints, right? That's not allowed! Boy, just be honest. Why not? Is there something we shouldn't see? <laughs> I love him. <sighs> it's decided then. You can't refute it anymore. He wrote a letter by calling out Haruhiko and misloading a bullet to let his hand be ruptured. All of this, that's what you did, Terrier. My boy. <laughs> really? You... Otori? Oh, why? Why did you do that? Why did you kill Kobashikawa? He didn't kill him. He didn't. But he definitely seems to be an accomplice. Mm. <laughs> I I'm sorry. All, all you said was right. After all, you couldn't stand the hunger too. What else could someone do otherwise? Actually, there was a reason why that I was aiming at Haruhiko, and there was a reason for when we fought each each day. It was all because of hunger. But sorry. So what? Were you hoping for sympathy? Either way, you planned the murder and executed it. No! I have nothing to say. I don't want to make any more excuses and dishonor Har Haruhiko anymore. I'm gonna... I'm gonna die anyways, so... So now you're covering for Tsatsuki? I think Teria is under the impression that he thinks he murdered Haruhiko, but I don't think he did. Hmm. Wait. There's one thing I'm curious about. Why did you go to the arsenal before the victim, work with the gun, write a letter to call him, and then go back again to the arsenal? My plan was to originally summon Haruhiko, and then see him go into the arsenal, and I would go with him. As if it had nothing to do with the criminal, Haruhiko and I were supposed to fight, and then provoke him, and let letting him shoot me with the gun I prepared. Once that happens, his hand would fly away with, without knowing anything, and so he would die. In the past, I, allowed, I followed my papa to, stu to, stu to study guns in America. Then I decided to commit a crime by using the knowledge I gained at the time. You have gun knowledge? What? <laughs> Boy? Hello? So I went back to my room and watched to see Haru coming out. Coming out. But I was too tired, so I fell asleep until morning came. Hmm. I mean, Haru pro might have noticed... I think mm, maybe what happened. I think what happened is this was the original plan. Hmm. But Teria didn't show up. But Haru thought it was still a good idea, so he brought Satsuki in instead. Hmm. And she'll listen to anything he says. In the end, I don't know the reason why Haru broke his hand, but in any case, it was my fault. The fact that I killed Haruhiko doesn't change. This was a difficult answer to predict. I'm glad you're a stupid fool. In a way, Kurokawa, who was watching the corridor all, all morning, I think that was a good thing. Thanks to that, my crime was discovered. Teruya. The discussion so far has ended with the conclusion that Teruya is the culprit. He only admitted to, like, rigging... The guns, he not for he shooting. He didn't admit to shooting him. He didn't admit to shooting him, and that's the missing piece. People, he didn't die from a broken hand. Yeah, even Sarugi admitted that he died from the bullet wound. Hmm. He was just able to get up and move around longer. It seems like a long shot, I think. There's still a lot of unsolved questions. 
Wait a minute, I've been listening all this time, and something's wrong with this. Terry is not the culprit. Hatsuki, what are you talking about? Otor Otori just admitted it. I mean, the culprit is me. Are you still saying that? I told you to shut up. Come on, queen. Wait. Is Teria really the culprit? Eh? Even Mikako? If I'm right, Teria is not the culprit. There's still an unsolved mystery. What are you guys talking about? I'm the culprit, aren't I? So many he, people. He's not even sure. He's he's not even sure that he's the culprit. <laughs> oh, I love I love you, you my stupid little Borbo boy. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like I hold his face Police in my hands. Police boy is stupid so dumb too. And I love you. <laughs> They're all dumb. <laughs> Come on, people. You cannot forget about the gunshot wound. Gunshot. It. Do you guys think? That he somehow shot himself while the uh, gun was like imploding or something. Uh, That's a stretch, uh, people. And, 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 I'm, and I'm literally shaking Sarugi too, because like he's the one who told us that he died from the gunshot, not from the gun exploding in his hand, from the gunshot! <laughs> Jesus, the hunger must have fried their brains or something, man. He ate too, so I'm like, y'all have no excuse! I mean, the food is still in his stomach, so... Probably not at his I brain yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell. I'm almost 90% certain that Terry is the culprit, but it's still a little too early to end the trial. I agree that there's an unsolved mystery. If we try to vote without anyone speaking up like this, I would have tried to do it, but actually, this is the most important part of the case right now. Eh? Huh? What's this all of a sudden? Wasn't the trial ending? Uh, that's right. If we think about it carefully, there are still a lot of parts that cannot be explained in the contents of the discussion. I would like to hear what Kurokawa thinks. When she says that Terria is not the culprit. You weren't careful enough, even for Kinjo. Yeah, scold him. He's stupid. Um, of ass! Thank you, babe. <laughs> what? Nothing. Anyway, <laughs> if you listen to the explanation, you will know right away. Like, he did not shoot himself, people! Where do you think Dumb of ass. Gunshot chest wound, yes. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. Man! God! Why do you think Terrier isn't a culprit? When Terrier passed the door to my room, he sent a letter to Haruhiko. Afterwards, he went into the arsenal for his next plan. That is the explanation so far. But after that, Tyria passed the door to my room again. There was no movement until the morning after. But they were... Even if Tyria did plot something, even if Haruhiko's hand was exploded, The direct cause of death is a gunshot wound. Oh, so maybe True. the chest wound doesn't apply here. Terrier didn't mention that he used the gun himself. If Terrier, who came out to the arsenal before Ariko, could not kill. And one more thing the arsenal was blocked from the inside. Oh, the wooden plank! Meh. Ah! <laughs> Does anyone know about this? Oh well, we okay, still have so one know pity point. We we know how to shoot. It. We know where to shoot yes. it. It's fine. So it's the wooden plank on the fucking mm -hmm. locked door. After listening to Kurokawa's words, it seems like something comes to mind. We know about Teruya. Yeah, it was around then. We found the corpse with Teruya. What was there before? I tried to open the blocked door with Teruya. The reason the door was blocked at the time was because. Right there. Yay! Constant. <laughs> 
Yay! <laughs> Good God. <laughs> right, yeah, I fucking know. The wood plank. Are you referring to this, Kurokawa? That's right, Maida. You mean the broken wood plank that fell that fell near the arsenal door? Yeah, according to Maeda, he opened the arsenal door in the morning with Teria's help. You're not going to say just because they opened the door together he's not a culprit, are you? That's not it. Think about it. After Teria entered and left the arsenal in the morning, Haruhiko entered afterwards. Until this moment, the door to the arsenal was open. Then, when was the door blocked with the wooden planks? Good point also. Well, when was it? It is for a fact that Kobashikawa opened the door and went in. Doesn't that mean that the door was blocked after that? I was right, he blocked mm -hmm. himself inside. That is true, but according to Dark Circle's testimony, Teria Otori did not even enter the arsenal after doing his little cheem. In other words, Teria wasn't the one who blocked the door with a wooden plank. It's only natural. When I tried to open the door with Maida this morning, I was embarrassed to know that the, ar the arsenal, which had only been opened, wasn't opening. As I said before, you must pass by Kurukawa's room. Even if you don't, you can head to the arsenal door. After that, the door to the arsenal was opened one more time. At that time, Teria finished his plan. While uh, Haruhiko and Satsuki were watching him or what? Because they were right, th they moved right past there at that time. Yeah. That's impossible, since Haruhiko was the last one to enter. Her arsenal door had been only opened once. If Teria went in and out of the arsenal, I should have heard the sound twice. Ah, so Satsuki really stayed in. Till the last moment. Oh. Otherwise she would have left. Yeah. Well, for starters, the wooden plank were used to clasp the door, I guess. If you do something like this from the inside, won't you be able to come out? That's true. But even if you put a plank by some trick from outside, there wasn't just one plank. You know what I'm talking about, right? Other grenades. There wasn't just one plank. Yes, I saw it clearly. The thing that fell with the plank near the door at the same same time as the ground as a plank was crushed and made a loud noise. That thing was... Flash and smoke grenades. Yeah. Right, the objects that were separated from the plank, you mean the flash and smoke grenades, right? Flash and smoke grenades? Ah, uh, is that the things that were near the door? Yes, when Terry and I first opened the door, we heard the shattering sound from the inside, and immediately afterwards, a tremendous amount of light and noise hit us. And then, after a few moments, when we opened our eyes, the arsenal was filled with smoke. After pulling out the planks from the handle, the door was opened and the plank fell because of the efforts we did. We? That's right. Now you see, it's impossible to block the door like that from the outside. What? Then, are you saying Otori is not the culprit? Wait a moment, but it was me who wrote the letter and had a gun ready to explode. It was the reason Haru saw the gun and then it exploded in his hands. I told you a little while ago, it's true that Haruhiko's right hand is raptured, but the cause of death was the gunshot wound. Teria, you only prepared the gun, but you didn't shoot Haruhiko, did you? That's... uh... no. Uh, so little brain cells working here today. Oh, I love him, but he's got nothing going on between those eyes. Nope. 
Mr. Policeman also has nothing working between his eyes today. Not a, like the only person with brain cells today seems to be Mikako and like maybe a little bit of us, but not at first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we also had to fail. Yeah. Hold it. Toria had an obvious murder attempt. Now it's a contradiction to, to say that he isn't a culprit. As if murder intent is enough. Is, is, is like proof of killing a person, dude. Leave it, Rena. He's stuck in his little mind loop about if you have murder intent, then you must be the murderer. Just just ignore him. <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Psychocop? Using forceful logic in that way doesn't seem like it would reach an answer like that. Dark Circles is right. I don't think Terry Autori is the killer either. Then who is the culprit? The He's... person who's been screaming it the whole fucking time. Yes. <laughs> You're saying it's impossible for Teria to block a door, however, no one else can do it. That's true. That's the biggest mystery in this case. Uh, so what are you all saying? Is, in short... In short, it's an impossible crime. Locked door murder. Ye oh, huh? suspended! At this point? Alrighty then. I mean, fuck, I'll take the save. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> and it's, all, All right. it's also the perfect moment to stop the recording and end the part. Yeah. Let's do that. So yeah, next time we shall hopefully reveal that Satsuki is indeed the killer. Like she has been screaming at us from the beginning. She's probably so impatient <laughs> about yeah, this. I would be so mad if I was in her shoes. Yeah. <laughs> like, man. All right. Alrighty then. Till next time, then. Bye. Bye.